what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, thanks for sticking with me to this point uh, through that little sequence, whatever that was. Uh, I've got a new editing software, Final Cut Pro with a new laptop. So as you know, I've been doing most of this on my phone or may or may not know. So I was just fiddling around with the editing software uh, with some clips that I got this morning. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm waffling on. Without further ado, you've waited long enough. Let's dive right into the main point of this video and that is six things. And that is six things that I cannot run without 5k, 10k, half marathon, whatever. They are quintessential to me. So let's kick it off with number one. And to me, the most important one. So yeah, in case you haven't guessed, <clears throat> that is the Apple Watch Series 6. I started with the Series 3. Uh, the Series 3 is just as good. It just, for fitness purposes, it's perfect for the money. I just wanted an upgrade because that's what I'm like. Me, this bit of kit is essential. I really would be lost without this on my runs. Um, I started running using Strava on my phone, which was fine, but it means you had to run with your phone in your hand or in your pocket. And it can be a bit of a chore, especially on cold days. If you haven't got gloves, you're holding your phone, etc. This is perfect. Stream all my music, uh, track my heart rate, my calories burnt. Uh, and the distance traveled. Only downside, I would just say, take it with a pinch of salt. It's not 100% accurate. You haven't burned it exactly to the point that many calories or your heart rate's been at this. Um, it's just averaging, but it's still very useful for running, workouts in the gym, even just day-to-day -day life, text messages, phone, just everything. Um, I used to wear a watch quite frequently, a big heavy watch, um, so, this doesn't weigh much at all and I love it. I would be very lost without this. You can pick these up for a good price. I mean, this one was like about 400 pounds and something. This is a cellular version, but you can get one that isn't cellular, which means you won't be able to use your phone, text messages or stream without having the phone with you. This has its own built-in sort of SIM card if you would. Uh, but yeah, this is perfect. This is probably my key and number one piece of running kit that I would be lost without. If you haven't got to go straight for an Apple Watch, most fitness trackers are good. This is not the best strictly for fitness, but for everything else that it does, it's perfect for me. And I would definitely be lost without it. So yeah, number one and most important to me, the Apple Watch. <laughs> So number two on the priority list um, and probably should be number one, but like I said, watch is number one. It's a good pair of running shoes. Uh, when I started, I was just using some trainers, if you would, that would do the job. Uh, this time around, I have invested in some good running shoes, um, which look like this. I've done a review on these on my channel already. These are the Nike Infinity Nike React Infinity Run Flyknits. These are so beat now. Um, I use these in the winter, mud, rain, whatever. So I had to get another pair. These are the clean pair for the gym, etc. But yeah, that is number two for me, in case you haven't guessed. Uh, it's very important to have a good running shoe. Uh, it supports the knees, all your joints, uh, your speed as well, and just your overall feel. It's amazing what a good pair of running shoes can do to your running abilities and also the influence to make you want to run more. These are probably coming close to the end of their life. Uh, whether I'll get another pair of these, I don't know. They're very good, but there are a lot of shoes on the market that I do want to try. But for the price that I paid for these, I can't fault them. Okay. You're probably wondering why I'm holding this massage gun. Reason being is because this is something I cannot live without since purchasing. Number three is a good stretching routine as well as a little massage to relieve stress or pain or tension in the muscles. This is really worth its weight in gold. I picked it up on Amazon for, I think it was around 70 pounds, but I'm really lost without it now. Post run and pre run, it's amazing to relieve muscle tension and pain or just stiffness overall. It feels great for relieving that. Comes with a case. Um, I'll attempt to show you with multiple different heads. Some look pretty explicit. Um, it's not what you think it is. It's a massage gun, dirty minded people. It's very important to have a good stretching routine pre and post workout. Battery life's good. Uh, the power's good as well. You can really feel it in your muscles, especially points of pain, uh, which recently I've been suffering with around the knee and this is helping a lot. So number three for sure is definitely a good massage gun and a stretching and mobility routine that's pre and post run. 
even if you're not going to go for a run just for a gym workout is so so key and something i never used to do was stretch and warm up my muscles as well as a little bit of massaging so yeah i'm gonna stop waving this about number three a good massage gun or just a stretching and mobility routine Swiftly moving on, in case you haven't guessed, my dead, dirty, smelly running hat, which is funnily enough, it's a golf hat, the ING thing, but uh, the Solheim Cup in Scotland is a females golf contest, a golf tournament, and this was from 2019. I have this because my brother did a lot of the branding, he's a graphic designer, and he did a lot of the brand designing for the Solheim Cup, pretty much all of it, which is pretty mental considering he's only 25, but was 24 at the time. Anyway, this is my hat, which I cannot live without. Since running, I have to run in a hat. My hair is, yeah, my hair's quite long, but it just, when I'm running, sweat runs off my hair, gets my hair wet and drips in my face. My go-to is my hat, which you guys have seen me wear all the time. And it's so grim now and I need to wash it, but I just, Really, I should retire it, but I just can't bring myself to. I love this hat. It's waterproof as well, which is spot on. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely, I think we're at number four. Number four, this is up there on the priority list. Um, I can run without it, but I definitely love to run with it uh, and feel a little bit lost without it. When your hair's bouncing around when you're running, it's not fun. This is definitely a key for me. So that is number four. Five, something which is pretty high essential to me, pretty high priority, but I definitely could go without. But then again, running without music is quite dire and boring. Number five is the AirPods. I don't even know what generation these are. I've had these for like coming up to two years uh, and they're troopers, they've been going on. They do me pretty well. They're probably the most common headphone on the market now, or earphone, sorry. Um, I can't remember what I paid, 199, something like that. Sounds about right for Apple, 200 pound for this. Yeah, anyway, I can't really talk about that because I buy everything Apple, but that's besides the point. These are quite important to me. Yes, listening to music is good. AirPods are decent. Um, I've heard things about AirPods Pro being that whole lot better, but I think these are pretty good. Sound quality is decent. Uh, battery life's also good. Uh, the dog got a hold of these and has bitten the corners and they're still in one piece. I haven't really had any problems with these at all. They do me well. So yes, a quick and easy one. Number five, AirPods Pro or just music in general. Okay, so that little sequence brings me on to the sixth and final essential for me. That is my environment. Uh, I find it very key to have a good environment when I'm running outside. Uh, that being less traffic, cars, motorbikes, fans, lorries, whatever it be, as well as people and foot traffic. I find it easiest to run outside when my runs are uninterrupted. It's not enjoyable when you have to stop, especially when you're just in the zone and going for it. Um, I don't always run to beat times. In fact, I never really run to beat times. Uh, I just run because I enjoy it and it's beneficial for health, obviously. Yeah, being interrupted isn't fun, uh, particularly when you are running and you have to wait to cross the road because there's a load of cars flying along. It is what it is. I try and always pick environments outdoors where you can't have any cars driving on the road because there are no roads. Um, pathways are essential. I don't really like running on mud, so for me, the place where I run every day is pretty much perfect. That rounds off the video. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed. Uh, just a little insight into essentials for me when I'm running. Uh, as always, like, comment and subscribe. We are doing pretty well on the subscribe account and the views uh, overall. The channel performance is pretty good and I'm very happy. And we'll continue to invest as long as I am growing and enjoying it. So yeah, as always, like, comment and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one, whenever that may be.